What's up guys, welcome to another topical video, sort of a ranking, uh, and I gotta give a big shout out to Jack Powell. Uh, he is a member of Killer Flicks. I see him on Facebook, we're friends on Facebook all the time. He always posts really, really interesting topics. I like a guy that just thinks outside the box, and that's what Jack does. He loves Halloween, I think he loves the franchise, I can tell. We all have different opinions about the franchise. I think it's the franchise that gets people the most passionate, sometimes the most angry. And we just had the David Gordon Green trilogy come out. Now that some uh, time has passed, the dust has settled, Jack brought up this great freaking idea. Um, and I've heard this before, but I think this is just what really struck a nerve with me and made me want to make a video about it. Okay, so the David Gordon Green trilogy versus the Thorn trilogy. And that, you know, you might give a knee jerk reaction to that. Oh, I like Thorn immediately. Or I like David Gordon Green. But when you take each one of those movies from those trilogies and really kind of stand back and think about them, it's, it's a tougher question than you might realize. Because all three trilogies um, have movies in them that are quite different in maybe uh, quality, maybe story, maybe risks that are taken. You know, both trilogies have some risks, big time, okay? So, I have a ranking that I've already prepared for this, but I can't really tell you right now, and I will try to give you a definitive answer at the end of this, which trilogy I like the best. It's a tough one because Halloween 4 is um, my number two favorite movie of the franchise and, you know so there's a little hint for you of, uh, you know where that's gonna go right I don't think you're gonna be shocked at which movie I give number one on this but five and six could go another direction same thing with the David Gordon Green trilogy for me those movies they get better as they go so I don't want to give you, give anything away I've given a little bit away okay but yeah I'm gonna let's do a ranking and I did post this and I'm already already getting some traction on X uh, and the other socials I said I'll, I'd read a, a couple just give a couple shout outs and, and I'll do that uh, Chungus he says DGG trilogy is miles better should the scripts take a turn in the second and third but kills has the most entertaining movie of all six and Michael is actually scary in it and Halloween 2018 he's laughable in the others but I still adore four uh, Travis says, this is hard. The Thorn Trilogy has my favorite and least favorite Halloween movies. I really like the old school style, but the DGG movies are great too. HK is so fun. It comes down to DGG by an edge because I feel like he Halloween Ends breaks the tie being way better than Halloween 5. And that's kind of where I'm at with this. The movies are kind of all over the place. And then I'll read one more. Uh, Midwest motherfucker. He says, holy Jesus, Lee. This is a nightmare. They both start out okay and end super fucking bad. Um, but that thorn shit, them controlling Michael Myers with rocks, well, that's producer's cut. I'm not uh, including producer's cut in this, okay? So producer's cut doesn't exist. So there's no rocks controlling Michael in this countdown. But it ends, Michael Myers is getting bullied by a wimp that gets bullied by band geeks. I can't, I'm having a breakdown. Not gonna go, not gonna touch that one. I've, I've been down that road so many times. I, I'm done defending okay you all you all know how i feel okay so let's get into the ranking now and let me tell you this okay the first one i'm dead set on like the number one but two through six are so damn close that uh this almost doesn't even like really tell you anything because <laughs> these movies in my ranking are i love both these trilogies so it's super super tough for me all right but i'm gonna attempt this all right i'm gonna attempt it but just know that really the order can change depending on my mood, depending on the, the time of day, depending on where the moon is. I don't know, but I'm going to try this. All right. So number six, the last place I'm going to give to Halloween five. And um, I think that's a safe bet because arguably five is a, a bad movie, but somehow I still have a really great time with it. Um, but I do think a lot of the movie takes place in the daytime, which uh, makes it suffer for me but it does have a really good final act you know um it, it, it's almost like too like is this final act the longest in the franchise it might be close because there's a lot that goes on in this final act but it does get a little weird too with the man in black stuff and then um the the jail at the end of the movie seeing myers in uh, in the chains in the jail cell was weird so i think the weird 
is too weird in this movie and that's what puts it in last place but i still have a blast watching it you know I, i'm still a uh, uh revenge of michael myers defender number five i'm going to go with halloween 2018 that's a pretty safe bet too okay i've i've had my love affair with 2018 i was shouting it to the rooftops when i first saw it for a variety of reasons just that this was the return of og myers it was a big deal and there's some real great stuff in halloween 2018 for sure but I just don't think it finishes strong. I think it starts off awesome, amazing. Uh, but I think what they did with Sartain uh, was a bad idea uh, in the last act of the movie. I, and I loved Sartain as a character. I think there, the possibilities with that character going forward would have been um, really great. And I think he should have been in Kills. And maybe even ends. I don't know. But... I looked at Sartain as kind of the uh, the bizarro Loomis. I think I would have been interested in seeing his communications, his um, meetings with with uh, Myers, you know, along the way. But Myers did not give a a, a shit about Sartain. Whereas I think Myers, there was a, a, a more of a relationship there with Loomis. Number four. Now this is where it gets tough. Number four, three, and two. They could all just go back and forth and back and forth and back. They're all they're all almost tied, as far as um, how much I love them. I love all three of these movies uh, excruciatingly. If that if that makes sense. Okay. I'll say right now, for now, number four will be Halloween Ends. Just because I I do think, as much as I love the movie, I love the balls that they had to make a copycat killer movie, but still keep Myers in there. Exploring Myers at a, a different point in his life where he is just obliterate. He's beaten. I think if you go into Ends at the beginning of the movie, uh, knowing Michael Myers, he's already beaten. He's done. I think maybe that would help you to enjoy it a little bit more. Maybe a freaking title along the script. Michael Myers, he's done. He's beaten. Okay? So now, what? what's the story after that, right? And how can we use him after he is beaten? I think that's, that's what you... But I think people went into this movie thinking Myers was going to be what he was in Kills. No. He took so much battle damage in Kills that it, it's... No. So it's a different character. It's the same character, but he's his situation is he he's gotten ran over by a Mack truck at least four times. Okay, that's the way you got to look at Myers. And do you accept the story, knowing that information and knowing that evil wants to get the hell out of his body, right? And to me, that's easy. It's easy for me to, to accept that. And for some people, it's not, and that's fine. You know, number three, um, I'm gonna go with Halloween Kills, but uh, I'll say this right now: it could easily be number two depending on my mood. I think the only thing that maybe brings kills down a notch, just a little notch, is maybe the Evil Dies Tonight stuff. I think if there's if there's a, a fan edit of Halloween Kills where they take out um, at least five of those uh, Evil Dies Tonight bullshit lines, then I think the movie's perfection. It's the ultimate Myers movie. You know, if you want your Myers just steamroller, Mack truck, of a serial killer then kills is your movie him coming out of that fire is one of the most iconic scenes in the entire franchise if not the most iconic scene in the franchise this is a myers that will not stop he is a force he does not hold back whatsoever he will cheat on his math exam whatever that means okay he, he doesn't give a fuck right that's what i love kills to death number two is going to be Halloween 6. I'm going to pull a Chris Stuckman here and say, I grew up on Halloween 6, okay? I have always loved the movie to death. I've always fought that Halloween 6 battle because so many people don't like the movie. And I get it. It's a movie that I understand your reasoning, but maybe my nostalgia feeds into it. I love George P. Wilbur's interpretation of Myers in the movie. I love the music. It just feels 90s and gritty. Uh, Loomis gives, a, a, I think, one of his better performances in this movie. I think he's a little bit too whacked out and crazy in five. Uh, but I, I loved Loomis in this. And I felt so sad when, you know, he is going in to, to handle some unfinished business with Myers at the end of the movie. Loved Paul Rudd. Um, as Tommy Doyle, a great Tommy Doyle. You know, I think, yeah, you got, and I liked Tommy Doyle in Halloween Kills, if I'm being honest, you know, um, Anthony Michael Hall. So you got two movies here back to back with great Tommy Doyles, in my opinion. Again, not including the producer's cut, okay? That last act of that movie can go straight to hell and back, all right? Because 
Miners ain't controlled by no stupid fucking rocks. All right, stupid, stupid. Number one is Halloween 4. I've shared my love for this movie so many times. Seeing it opening night in the theater, the crowd's reaction, Hal Loomis, uh, his reaction to Jamie Lloyd at the end of the movie just completely scared the living shit out of me. I think it is the perfect Halloween movie. Not just sequel, just a perfect Halloween movie. It's almost like Evil Dead 2 to Evil Dead, right? And I'd even say I probably watch Halloween 4 maybe even more than the original. I don't know. Rachel and Jamie, though that duo together, you know, as, as far as like horror duos, probably my favorite horror duo is Rachel and Jamie. Their relationship, uh, you know, how it started out kind of strained and Rachel didn't even want to babysit. You know, she's, you know, she's a typical young teenager, but by the end of the movie, she's doing everything she can to save Jamie. Standing in front of her, uh, you know, facing Myers head on, uh, almost certain death. And uh, I love Rachel so much. I prefer Rachel over Laurie Strode. I said it. It's out there. Okay. So, so now having said all that, you got my ranking of the, uh, the six movies. What's the better trilogy? You know what? I think from a story standpoint, and I'm shocking myself right now because I would always say Thorn, but I'm going to take my nostalgia goggles out of this and I'm going to say I think the David Gordon Green trilogy is just, I think it's just a hair better because I think Halloween 5 is such a sharp drop. And then Halloween 6, as much as I love it, um, I can see why people have a problem with the movie. So I think maybe the consistency thing between 4, 5, and 6 might be the issue there. But, you know, then again, I have 4 and 6 as my number 1 and 2. So it, it, I'm just really throwing a dart in the wind. I don't, I can't really tell you exactly which one. I think I probably prefer Thorn. But on paper, maybe the David Gordon Green trilogy is the better. Because I love Halloween Ends. I love Halloween Kills. 2018 is a little better than Halloween 5. And I guess if I had to like give this numerical ratings for each movie, I think that would answer my question better. And maybe I'll do that later uh, just to give you guys the answer. But I'm, I'm going to call it right now and I, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be the David Gordon Green trilogy that, that, that's slightly, just slightly better than the Thorn trilogy. Hold on, stop the presses, stop the presses. I literally did the, uh, the numerical ratings for each movie and uh, this is how close it is, all right? And I'll probably put a screen grab up here. But uh, yeah, you can see there the actual numerical rating I gave each movie. And the final result, Thorn 22, DGG 21.9. So Thorn actually wins by 0.1. That is insane. That's how close it is, guys. That's how close it is. I love both these trilogies so much. And um, I couldn't live with myself if I didn't give, you know, do the actual math and give you an honest answer because, you know, in the video, I was just kind of going off the fly. And in my mind, I thought maybe I do like the DGG trilogy a little bit more. But by the numbers, it's Thorn, baby. It's fucking Thorn. But overall, the, the idea, the concept, the story-wise, I think I like the idea of Thorn better than what David Gordon Green was going for in his trilogy. You know, but I just maybe Thorn wasn't executed to the uh, to the heights that it could have been. So damn, this was a fun video, guys. Um, I'm looking for more ideas like this down the road, and especially if it's in Halloween, that's my franchise. Then uh, the more the better. And uh, sometimes I get a little bit scared to talk about Halloween because I think some of you be, might might be like, okay, I'm sick of Halloween talk. But then a lot of you jump in and say, you know what? Talk Halloween as much as you want. You guys seem to love it. So, and uh, it, it seems to get the views. So anyway, guys, uh, let me know down in the comments which one you like better. It's a hard question to answer. It really is for me because I love all six of these movies. Some of you hate some of these movies. And it, that answer will be a lot easier for some of you. For me, it was really tough. Okay, so yeah. So anyway, guys, I'll see you on the, uh, the next video for extra. Take care of each other. Mwah.